Jesus. Okay. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's me, Erica. We are down here, girl. I wanted to make another video. I, that other video was almost an hour long, and I don't. Re I have no. I like literally cannot remember what we talked about. Um, a little bit about Tyla and her being forced to call herself B L A C K. So we talked about that. Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment. Let me know you stopped by. Um, go ahead and put on your notifications so that you are notified when I make a post, upload a video, go live. Um, I'm trying to, I like, I, I keep saying to myself, I want to go live. I want to go live. I feel like going live. So I'm like trying to talk myself into doing it more often. I did it a, a couple of weeks ago on a, was, I think it was a Saturday or Sunday morning. Maybe we'll do like Sunday more. I don't know. What's a good day that we sh that we can go live? It has to be on the weekend. I don't want to do it at night because I feel like I'll be on there too long. So maybe like a sat. I don't want to do sa maybe Saturday morning. But my Saturday morning would be like afternoon on the East Coast or Sunday. What y'all think? Maybe I'll do a poll on like a day that we can go live and like chit chat and um and um you know for like an hour and a half or something and chit chat about something i don't know about things going on and stuff um i think a good conversation would be like easy and like I was thinking like easy and practical ways because you know i always say protect your energy and some people really don't and some people know how to do it and every now and again i tell you how to do different things to set your home frequency um and you can set your home frequency anywhere you go you really it's literally like creating a ambiance um, but just setting the frequency to so that you can um feel good and safe in different spaces but um yeah, I thought that might be a good topic. I was kind of um, thinking about that last night. So we don't have anything to talk about. Let's see what's on the blog. I sponsored the, yes. now I sponsored the Let blog. Let me tell you something. Blogs. Girl. Um, the neighborhood talk. Let's see. Oh. Let's see. Um, Dr. Heavenly. So Quad apparently is in a new relationship. Quad Webb from Married to Medicine. If you don't know who she is, she was married to Dr. Minnie Cooper. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Who is now married to Sweet Tooth. Okay. So she has a new man and Heavenly has been on the internet talking about this new man. She's been tweeting about this new man saying how she's so happy for Quad and this new man and ooh, his voice is deep and all this weird stuff. I think it's very strange for a woman to be so happy for another woman getting into a relationship. I think it's weird. Do y'all do, I, I mean, I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand it. Do y'all do that? Your friend gets into the relationship, a relationship and you're online talking about how you're so happy for her. Like, not under a post of hers, like an independent post that says, y'all, can I tell y'all a secret? At Absolutely Quads, man got her a Rolls Royce and it's beautiful. Stay tuned for photos and pictures. I was in it last night. Twilight seating. If you know, you know. I'm so happy for her. She deserves black love. I can roll my eyes any harder. They'd fucking roll back and up, <laughs> back into position. I said last night on Twitter, I think it's weird that she's so happy for her. Uh, why they all want a Rolls Royce? Simon said no more. Didn't Simon said no more? Didn't y'all hear him? Heavenly is that older auntie in the family that'll tell you don't tell nobody when you actually want them to spread the word just to stunt on the rest of the family without having it look like you're bragging yeah give it to her dentist the menace stirring the pot as usually this is not a friend i don't care what y'all say this is how you upgrade okay quad dr heavenly is full of hell i think she's miserable in that marriage with that boring mute husband of hers is that the only car is that the only car dealership in atlanta 
It used to be a Cadillac, honey. They not, a Cadillac was a status symbol for the blacks, for the blacks. And <laughs> now it's a Rolls Royce, I guess. My new auntie was going to deliver the details, good or bad. Congrats, quad. Why don't Heavenly ever discuss what goes on behind her own doors? I don't understand. She don't ever spill her own tea. It's just, it's something untrustworthy about her. Is it a lease or was it bought? Since you telling people's business, my girl said, I want to pop out with my new man. It's going to be worth the wait. These people are not from Atlanta. They flew here. Misery loves company bragging about quad car. Where's your Rolls, Rolls Royce? And who cares? Because they all have one. It's like you buying a Lexus at this point. I thought it was weird. I'm, I said it on Twitter that I thought it was weird that Heavenly was so happy. Stop tweeting how happy you are for me getting into a relationship. That's fucking weird, bro. It's weird to me. It really is. Hold on. Let me find my tweet. I said, do your girls come to the internet when you get a new boyfriend and say how happy they are for you and put hashtags, girl, what the fuck? And shout out to Sky Santana. She said, trying to spill tea under the guise of being happy, quote, happy for her. Wicked Witch of the West Coast says, absolutely not. My other boyfriends might see it. Right, girl, what the fuck? Like, why are you so happy for me that I got a new man? It's fucking weird. I said, it's weird. Shout out to LTV Productions. He said, me too. Stop it. It feels like she's producing producing the show, play, playing up this relationship. She's helping it look fake. Carlos said, Heavenly has passion for upselling Quad O'Hara. Like, why are you doing that? It's so weird. It's cringy. Obviously, Leeology says she's doing a lot. Shout out to Miss Trina here says, agree. It's giving Quad Rent a man to keep in, married to medicine check. And for Quad to be invited on the couple's trip because they didn't want they didn't want no begging body single woman around their men's, okay? You know she's a Christian male worshiper. Anything she says about relationships is weird and tainted. She knows Sweet Tea and maybe Toya are coming for her neck, so she's trying to make sure she has allies. I was thinking the same thing, I swear. <laughs> ah! Girl, I do think it's weird. I think it's really, 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 really weird. I do. I really do. Because why are you so happy? I don't get it. It's just weird. Don't be so, like, I don't know. It's something very off about the way that Heavenly and Quad, like, their friendship, like, don't come out. Like, I don't know. It's very, it's, it's, I don't know. Um, let me see. Let me find a word that I'm the word I'm looking for. Hold on, because I it's not the word that I want to say. Hold on, let me see. It's um, mishandling because I don't want to call it abusive. I feel like she mishandles quad, like it's like. There's like a level of like, I'm not holding you. I'm more like I'm doing this with you. I'm not holding you as my friend. I'm, I'm, I'm doing like this. Like, I'm not, ho I'm not really holding you. Like I'm playing with you like a cat, like a cat plays with a mouse before it kills it. That's what heavenly is giving me when it comes to quad. It's like, you're not really cool. Like you want to act cool with me, but then you're going to slap me one time. It's going to knock me out. That's how I feel. Sorry. I didn't want to say abusive, but it just feels like it's not, it's not balanced in a way. I don't know. I just, I don't like it. I think it's weird to come out. And then she was on Carlos King talking about, Ooh, his voice is deep y'all. It's like, what? I, I don't get it. That's all I know. That's all I know. It's like, and why is anybody excited that she has a boyfriend? Like, and when they break up, she'll have another boyfriend. And when they break up, she'll have another boyfriend. And let's see, Quad said, it's, it wouldn't, it's not a year. It's not going to take a year to know if you want to marry somebody. Quad ain't never getting married. 
I don't know. Maybe she will. I won't say that because the girls be changing their mind, I guess. I don't know. I wouldn't grow up to be that age and have acquired a portfolio the way that they way the heavenly talks about quad making very good investments. I you better have a Trump type prenup and make sure your assets are completely separate from his and that it don't have nothing to do with him. I would not legally at that age, but legally bind myself to another human being, especially after you have a portfolio that looks, that allegedly looks like quads portfolio. Mm -mm. Nope. That's that. If you do that, you a dummy and I don't quad don't strike me as a dummy. Don't do that. Do not do that. You too old to be trying to legally bind yourself to somebody after you have acquired all the things that you've acquired on your own. Don't, don't be no damn fool. You're going to look like Kelly Clarkson. If y'all don't get, get out here and look at these women, you see Iman Schumpert, he wants his um, child support payments um, lowered. Tiana Taylor makes more than him. Girl, it's a mess. Hold on. Let me go. Let me, let's talk about it. But yeah, I still, I think it's weird that Heavenly is always talking about quad in that weird, that weird way. Um, Iman Schumpert, here it is. I'll be making comments. I have to forget, like I make comments on the polls, but then I forget to um, save it. Iman Schumpert says his child support payments to Tiana should be changed since she makes more money than him. Tiana reportedly makes nearly $90,000 a month while he makes nearly $50,000 a month. It says, T Tiana Taylor, it's no secret that Tiana Taylor, this is from the Neighborhood Talk, it's no secret that Tiana Taylor and Iman Schumpert shocked everyone after announcing that they would be divorcing after seven years, they didn't ma quite make it to eight, seven years of marriage. While in shock surrounding their divorce announcement has calmed down, the drama involved in it has not. According to TMZ, Iman is now asking that his child support payments be reevaluated due to the fact that Tiana makes nearly twice as much as him. Court documents obtained by the outlet has Tiana's gross monthly income before taxes at 93,885, while Iman's listed at 47,981. If you can recall in Tiana's divorce filing, she I need to be making $93,000 a month. Hell, if you can recall in Tiana Taylor's divorce filing, she alleged that um, Iman was jealous of her fame despite earning more than her during due to being a professional athlete in the NBA. However, considering the fact that Iman hasn't played in the NBA since 2021, it appears that some of those earnings have withered away. Iman said he is currently paying $8,000 a month in expenses for the former couple's two children. He also says he's willing to pay for major medical expenses. However, it seems like he doesn't want his monthly payments increased and believes he should be reevaluated due to the pay gap. Let's read some of the comments. I said her money has nothing to do with what his money would contribute to the child's upbringing if they were together. The courts will adjust based on the amount of time Iman spends with their children. So if he wants an adjustment, take it to court, they'll evaluate it and the, the time that he actually spends with them and make an adjustment to the child support. I mean, that's like the standard. So that's probably why he's there, but what they're gonna be, what they're gonna ask him is how much time do you spend with them? And then they're gonna apply. I mean, everybody knows how child support works. This idea that these niggas don't wanna be one of to, this is how much you would be paying if you live there. The children have grown accustomed to a certain lifestyle. You need to maintain that, sir. Even if you are, even if, and and it's so weird how there's so many men out there who believe that they don't want to take care of the children unless they're terrorizing and being, being able to terrorize and be in a relationship with the mother. As soon as they're not in proximity to the mother or no longer have access to the mother, they act like they don't want to take care of the children. That's why you give your children your last name. Them is your babies any fucking way. Okay. 
Um, as a woman with no kids who dated a man with kids, I will say y'all deserve every penny you're granted because joint custody or not, the mother is always, always responsible for that child. One thing I've noticed that especially in these comments is that black folks hate to see a man having to financially provide for his kids. Y'all love a at least he's present and doing the bare minimum ass man. They do. And it is because it's cultural. So it's like, that's normal. It's, it's normal for a man to try to evade child support. It's normal for a man not to want to pay child support. It's normal for him to be taking a mom to court every single time to have some, some things adjusted. It's normal. Why men feel like just because the woman make more money, they're not entitled to pay what they need to pay to take, to take care of the kids. Who cares those baby, who cares for those babies daily? Her. And as a man, why would you want to spend less than the mother for your kids when she has them primarily caring for them? Niggas like that annoy the fuck out of me. Don't mind me. Y'all just had a flashback about my own damn situation. $90,000 a month is such a blessing. That's what I'm saying, honey. Come on. Bless me. Just bless me. It's your bestie, Miss, Miss Bestie. Hey, just bless me. Yes, 90,000. Yes. <laughs> it's the same man that turned the utilities off to be spiteful while his children was living in the home. No sympathy, sir. Yeah, we ain't forgotten, mom. You turned off the electricity or let it, you let the bill go, basically. You let the bill go and the lights turned off. The first thing a man wants to do when he's married is give his woman, give his woman everything. The first thing a man wants to do in a divorce with kids is avoid paying child support. Take care of your own damn kids. Fellas, get him a vasectomy and a prenup before you get married. Get a vasectomy and a prenup before you get married as if like the, even in this example, she makes more than him as if. A prenup for what, sir? Don't nobody want nothing you have. It, Tiana don't want nothing. Pay for your kids, child. This is the liability you created while you were in business with her. So you need to make sure that they are taken care of with what you would have been able to provide had you been in business with her. You don't get to fall out of business and not put in to the liability you create it, sir. And then, then be the motherfuckers. I remember that one time. One, he had one time to ask me, could he claim my children on his taxes? Are, are you nuts? You have to be nuts. You have to be, you need to be admitted asking a question, asking me that question. When you, I don't know what you thought, what kind of hood fantasy you thought this was where you can call the primary 100% caregiver and ask them, could I claim these children on my taxes? Fuck no. <laughs> Girl, you cry. You're nuts. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. Um, let's see. Wait, what? Chloe Kardashian asks Rob to donate sperm to her bestie Malika, but he refuses because he can't. What anymore? What are they blocking out? He can't ejaculate anymore? Let's see. I've been working on a project and I need your input and your support. Okay. Obviously. I want to have another baby. With who? We don't know. What? We don't know. So are we looking for a man? No. Okay. I just think I might have to go to the sperm bank, you know? I don't want to be like 42, 45 and pregnant. I'm like, I fought for this body. Mm -hmm. But if I'm going to carry, like it has to happen almost now because I'm not a spring chicken, <laughs> you know? But if I was going to use a surrogate, then I have time. Who would just ask Rob to give you some sperm? I mean, he's a good catch. Is he? Excuse me. We like to keep this in the family. Oh, my God. Would you like to donate? Guys have already slept together. Hello. Hi, baby. Hey. Um, I'm with Malika. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey, Rob. Hey. 
Real serious question though, like Bible serious. Malika wants to have another kid. Hey. Hey. And she was gonna go to a sperm bank to get sperm, but I just said, why not get it from I you? Can't what? Is it broke? Rob, just you don't have to, you just put it in a cup. I can't <laughs> anymore. <laughs> What, are you tired from last night? Maybe not. But what does that have to do for the sperm? I just said I can't anymore. Okay. <laughs> what, what don't you get? Okay, well, we have time to prepare her womb so we could prepare your penis. Hey. Hey, Rob. We could prepare your penis. So we could, you just simmer on this conversation, okay? I just told you I can't anymore. Okay. I love you. This is weirder get it from tristan get it from tristan get it from tyga get it from travis scott since i mean girl that's what's really going on over there basically why don't you ask oh doesn't she already have a baby by ot genesis and raggedy tired ass musty ass slow ass nigga that's who she has a baby by tired ass po ass raggedy ass slow Whoa. ass niggas that's why Jeannie Mai wanted another baby. They act like you want to, I don't want to be with you. I just want your sperm. That's what these men don't understand. I just need your sperm. You see what, what's her name went over there? Uh, Drea went over there and got her a young athlete with a, with a contract sperm. I don't want to be married to you. It's not about you at all. It's really never been about you, but we live in a society that makes you believe that, oh, if you have a, if you have a baby by yourself, God forbid. You're the bane of the society. How dare you? How dare you have a child and not have a man in proximity to you? How dare you? And I'm so glad the women are like, you know what? I don't want, I'm just, I'm actually gonna jump, jump over that headache and go right to pregnancy. Shout out to Ebony K. Williams. Shout out to Lala Kent. Shout out to Malika if she's gonna do it. All the women who are jumping right over the, this, going directly to the bank getting their sperm and having their babies. I gotta go. Let me read a couple comments and then we're out of here. It's everybody in the comments not catching that he literally can't nut anymore. He had a, vas a vasectomy. Why doesn't she ask Tristan? That's his specialty. Y'all always playing in Rob's face. Tell Malika to ask OT for another baby and leave Rob alone. You guys already slept together. Chloe, please. They did. Sis, all of your options sounds like you want a Kardashian baby. They trying to make another Kardashian dream is the only OG left. No, all of them are Kardashians. They all are. They all are. What do you mean the OG Kardashian? Ain't none of them women married. Remember how y'all was trying to make it, trying to, trying to use the same shit they use on you? Oh, y'all over there, baby mamas. Y'all over there, baby mama's like something's wrong with it. They knew good and goddamn well. Yeah, we want this athletic nigga sperm, but we don't want to attach ourselves legally to these motherfuckers. Girl, are you crazy? You saw when Chloe was, was married to that drug addict, Lamar Odom, she acted like she couldn't have no baby. As soon as they was done with, here she come with two babies, girl. What? I thought you couldn't have no babies. She knew she didn't want to have no, she got, she got her athlete, but she didn't want no drug, someone who is, has a, a propensity to get addicted to something. Oh no, we're not doing that DNA coding. No, thank you. I can't have babies. I can't tell them I can't, tell them I can't have no babies, girl. Anyways, y'all gotta go. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Guard your wombs. And if you want to have a baby, have a baby. Jump over the niggas to go right to the sperm bank. Peace. <laughs>